guys and welcome to my first video of making rainbow loom and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make um, a um, it's called the tidal wave and this is what it looks like this bracelet um, it's okay to use like those plastic hooks like this but you can use one of these if you don't have a metal tip hook. But if you do, then I recommend you use that. Also, I recommend you use high quality um, bands because this bracelet will have a lot of pressure on your bands. But this is actually a quite simple design. It looks actually... If you look at this and you never knew how to make, if you looked at this and never knew how to make one, then it looked pretty difficult. But this bracelet is not difficult. It is actually not too bad. It's easy, but it just needs high quality stuff. And without further to wasting your time, let's get started. So, first you will need white well i'm doing rainbow like this but i'm gonna be using white for my border and pink and black for my pink and gray for my middle color so turn the loom around where the arrow is facing away from you Grab it, put it on your first band, cross like a single chain. And um, actually, you actually want to make this like a single chain. So make it like that. Grab your next band. And make it like a W. So it looks like this and you just need to put it on so it looks like it is um like a single pattern so grab this band put it across grab this band Put it across like a single chain. Grab your border colored band. Put it across. Grab your border color. Put it across. Sorry. So it should look like this and keep going until you reach the end of your loom. So just make it like a single band kind of chain. So grab your next color, your border color, in other ways. Place it like a single chain. Grab your next band. Sorry. <laughs> and put it on. So it should look like It's going to be like just like a single chain. And we're almost to the end. This is what your loom should look like. I'm gonna give it a slide through. Push all your bands down.
So it looks like this. And this is where mostly all of your bands are going to get like all the pressure. So first grab, oh, and you're going to be using um, double colors. So go to the front where the arrow is piece, placing away from you. Stack these up on top, make it into a line. So it should look like this. Oh, and sorry if it's just a little easier. I turned the loom around because it was a little easier to make the arrow pointing toward you. So you make them, make them look like this but then you need to twist them into a figure eight. So, it should look like this. Since you started from this peg, start from this peg. So, grab your two colored bands. Your next two, which mine is pink. Make it so it's put going. Like this, twist it and I like doing this. So it's the pink is like twisted like that. And I like grabbing my hook. And don't grab the gray, just grab only the pink. So it looks like this. I'm going to show you this all the way down to the loom. So. You grab your first two gray colors, put it on like this, twist it into a figure eight so it looks like that. Grab your next two colors, Push. Remember to push all your bands down because it's going to be a lot of pressure on your bands right now because you're stacking them up on each other. So make them look like that. Push all of your bands down. You need to do that because if you don't, then it will fall off and while you're starting to hook and it will mess the whole bracelet up. So... Since you started from this peg, go to this peg, put your two bands on, put it on so it's like a figure eight, grab your next two bands, which mine is pink. You have to make these double bands. Sorry if I keep saying that, but it's just because, um, well, okay, probably not. So make them, so make them like, it's like this. Grab your two bands by the side and pull it over. You see, if you had done like six of them, you will only done that much. So, you grab your next band, which mine is yellow, actually yellow, I mean, yeah, gray. Grab your two bands. Pull them. 
start from that peg, go down to this. Pull it upon itself and put it on the next peg. Grab your next band. Twist them into a figure eight so it looks like that on those four pegs. Since you start from this peg, start from that peg. Grab your two bands. You put them across like this. So it looks like that. Grab your next two bands. Make them into a figure eight. Well, not really, but yeah. Grab your next two bands. So, do you see how I didn't put my bands on tight? That's what will happen if you, that happens if you don't push all your bands um, on, like push all of them down. Grab your next two bands. You start from this peg, start from this. So my bands keep falling off. That's what happens if you don't push your bands down. You start from here, start from this pin. Cross it until it's like a figure eight. And I'm trying to go really quick here cause um, my battery here is running low. So yeah. Start from here. Pull them down. Grab your two next bands. Until it's all the way down. Gonna be showing you this the whole way, so don't freak out because I'm not going to fast forward or do anything. So grab your two bands, pull them across, and make them look like. Push these bands down. 